Whoa! <laughs> I love this is a TikTok ad mid game. What is this game? Name. Do I not get to name her? Um. Vladimir Lenin. Okay. So we have our sexy woman now. Arrive at the law firm in Madison Factory. Despite your efforts, you're five minutes late. Crap! I hate it when that happens. Here, I'm gonna hit autoplay. Thanks for leaving your first person. Oh my god, not again! I'm going, so going to get- Well, you came- You said you had everything under control. What happened? My class ran away. Then I had an errand, and I had some car trouble. Are they mad at me? Am I gonna get fired? Chill! I told them- Okay, I can't autoplay. I told them you were visiting your grandma at the hospital. Okay. Stacy, you know I don't like it when you lie about my family like that. Girl, you gotta get it to get- Oh, dude, so you'd rather I tell them the truth? Um, no. Then I believe the words you're looking for are, Thank you, Stacy. I owe you big time. She's the office, and then bleep it. She's the off one. Neither of them are hot. No sense. No simps here. You are my senpai. He's not my type. I call bull. He's hot, rich, and powerful, and he's everybody's type. Well, whatever it is, he, he wants you in his office ASAP. Oh, okay. Don't worry, Vladimir Lenin. <laughs> Stacy leaves a knock on the door in front of Lucas Law. The oh, you're bad, Vladimir. I hate how there's real pictures. I don't like that. Come in, Vladimir Lenin. Distract him. Is that a new suit? Italian? Yes, though it's quite frankly, it's... What I wear is none of you. Oh, sorry. God. Lucas, have a seat. I'm going to cut right to the chase. I have a special assignment for you, but I'm warning you, it's unconventional. If I'm going to be reading this, I need to freaking hydrate. Oh my god. Okay. You're sworn to absolute secrecy. No, girlfriend, don't do absolute secrecy. I'm intrigued. Sounds like something daring and top secret, like in the movies. Vladimir Lenin, I need you to take this seriously so I can guarantee that you're not like, living a movie. Of course, my apologies. This Saturday marks the wedding of Paxton Burroughs and Celia Lendricks. Who are they? Paxton Bears is the most influential minds in the legal field. Oh, and Zia Lendricks is my ex-girlfriend. Interesting. So where do we fit? What is these faces? Long story short, I need a date to the wedding. Were you asking me? Wait, are you saying? Yes, I'm asking you to go to the wedding with me. <gasps> oh, I didn't. I don't know if it's a good... Vladimir Lenin, I wouldn't ask if I weren't real... Re Hold up, I need to read that. Frick! I don't care. There's one more thing I should ask you. Okay. You wouldn't just be my date. You'd actually be playing my girlfriend. What? Girlfriend? We'd have to come up with a story about how we met and how long we've been together. It's not still a date, though. Do you just date random people, man? Uh, Vladimir Lenin, you should probably start calling me Lucas. Lucas, I don't know if I can be... I can't fake it. I just don't like the idea of faking a relationship. I understand. Listen, you know how many relationships I had to fake to get out of the Soviet Union? Why do you think your grandma, me, named you Vladimir Lenin? That was a bad joke. I don't know if I want to make any more. That's very noble of you. Save Vladimir Lenin. I also have to admit that I buried a lead here. If you agree to play the role of my girlfriend for the wedding, and the event goes smoothly, I'll, you will be rewarded. Uh oh! Firstly, I'll have you styled in one of my favorite cloning designs, appealing to a woman's vanity, are you? Secondly, I will pay you $10,000. $10,000 for one day? Yes, take some time to think about it. What's my time on this? Crap. I will need an answer by tomorrow. Let's talk then. You get home. Alright, so, uh, let me explain to you what basically happened. Um, I'm skipping to the good part, um, because I didn't want 
to sit through that and waste my recording time. Um, she, her boss invited her on a date. I named the woman Vladimir Lenin. You could please, please show the joke where I made a joke about marrying Vladimir Lenin. When I was you know how many relationships I had to fake to get out of the Soviet Union? Why do you think your grandma, me, named you Vladimir Lenin? That was a bad joke. Oh my god, I just want to make it clear how much I love you guys. I had to replay all of that to, just to get to this point. I don't know why it didn't save, but it's probably good. You get a text message. Remember how I told you this happened? Vladimir Lenin, honey, how are you? I'm okay, mom. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm gonna jump off a bridge tonight. Between my law. Do I have to read all this? You either put a gun to my head, please. A Nerf gun, of course. Make it a gun and then change it to a Nerf gun. Do I have to play all this? Right. Um, I didn't want you to... What? Meet at Cooper's Inn in half an hour. I mean, meet on Cooper's Inn in half an hour. Oh, very sexy. What should I wear to the... Ooh, let's do the one that says hot. And oh, okay. It costs coins to wear the hot dress. No. Oh, no. Um, I'll just yeah. It's moderately cute and comfortable. I want to wear the hot one. I feel like a hot lady sometimes. Vladimir Lenin. Oh my goodness, you look amazing. Thanks, mom. You look great too. A friendly waitress appears to take your order. It's half an hour, ladies. Not tonight. <laughs> I'll have peach iced tea. Make it two, please. Thank you. You got it. Be right back. Okay, let's talk about... Oh, let's talk about your situation. There are a few other banks in the area that maybe you should prepare to read up there. And I have a few weeks. That's awesome. But there are no guarantees. Any. Sorry to interrupt, hon. But here are your drinks. After thanking the waitress, your mom continues between between your sister's tuition and all the payments of the purse. Stretch pretty thin. Uh, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I swear I have like dyslexia after doing this. Vladimir Lenin, I can't take your savings. It would be Lenin. Even still, you need a rainy day fund. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Freaking mom power. I guess Lucas is the answer. Oh, and Uter, whenever, so they can get the story. Do where I read, oh my god, what are these ads? Eater, don't ad cut this, I just want everybody to see. Honestly, I don't want to make this an actual thing where you think I care about too much because I don't but it's kind of just sickening that they market this for let's be real their target demographic is little girls I don't really like this at all and they know that little girls play this so no he's so hot let's flip him like an egg oh my god I'm his boss, but I want to be his wife. Ugh. Uh, you stand your friend. Now yeah, we're right here. It's the confident lawyer. Let's do something hot. It's not hot. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I can't. Hmm, I guess what I'm wearing is pretty good. You've worn the same clothes for three days. <laughs> I better not be late for this meeting. I can't, I can't do it. You reached the office and just in time, woman in there. Hey, Stacy, what's it? You think, where do you think you're going? I have to talk to Lucas. Lucas? Oh, um, I mean, Mr. Madison. Suddenly, he's Lucas to you? Um, let's play it cool. It's a new space in the sector. Call your boss by his first name? Yeah, I read it in a business woman court. Yeah, yes, I picked my nose. I'm reading this for you. Make fun of me. Oh, do you know you've got confused to looking Stacy? I can't do it, dude. I can't be formal. 
Mr. Madison! Please, call me Lucas Vladimir Lennon. It'd be weird to date someone who calls me Mr. You take a moment to compose yourself and speak up. I've agreed to your terms. I mean, we're in for $10,000. I can't do this voice if, if, if I don't hydrate myself properly. I had it open. Oh! <laughs> no, let's do it. I don't know. Um, we have enough for a video. So, you to try and work this all out. I can't really describe what I need you to do. I'm sure you can figure it out. But, I actually... I just thought the use or spaghetti. And... And, we're going to make this a part two. If you, if you, if you don't like that, then leave it in the comments why. If you do... Thank you for being supportive. Being an online creator isn't as easy as you think it'd be. I guess that's the end of the video. Stay pokey. Stay toasty.